Welcome. Let us begin. Educate the children, and it won't be necessary to punish the men. A man is never as big as when he is on his knees to help a child. As long as man continues to be a ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace, for as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Evolution is the law of life, number is the law of the universe, unity is the law of God. Concern should drive us into action and not into a depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. There is geometry in the humming of the strings, there is music in the spacing of the spheres. A blow from your friend is better than a kiss from your enemy. Salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. Rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk of you as they please. Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words, rather correct your mistakes with examination. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. In anger, we should refrain both from speech and action. As soon as laws are necessary for men, there are no longer fit for freedom. Hate and fear breathe a poison in the blood, which if continued affects eyes, ears, nose, and the organs of digestion. Therefore, it is not wise to hear and remember the unkind things others might say about you. Each celestial body, in fact each and every atom, produces a particular sound on account of its movement its rhythm or vibration. All those sounds and vibrations from a universal harmony in which each element, while having its own function and character, contributes to the whole. It is only necessary to make war with five things, with the maladies of the body, the ignorances of the mind, 
with the passions of the body, with the seditions of the city, and the discords of families. A thought is an idea in transit. Lust weakens both body and mind. Know thyself, and thou wilt know the universe. Above all things, respect yourself. The highest goal of music is to connect one's soul to their divine nature, not entertainment. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. Let no one persuade you, by word or deed, to do or say whatever is not best for you. If you are asked, what is the silence, respond, it is the first stone of the Wisdom's Temple. Do not say little in many words, but a great deal in a few. Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. Wisdom, thoroughly learned, will never be forgotten. Choose always the way that seems the best. However rough it may be, custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. When the wise man opens his mouth, the beauties of his soul present themselves to the view, like the statues in a temple. Truth is so great a perfection, that if God would render himself visible to man, he would choose light for his body, and truth for his soul. If you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. Don't go to bed until you have gone over your day three times in your mind. What wrong did I do? What good did I accomplish? What did I forget to do? I would have to say, the probability of us dying seems extremely high.
Thank you for your time. Stay strong.